interest of time, so we're going to move now to the hate hire cases. Agenda item number six, HA 2022-09. Thank you, Madam Chairman. This is a special exception request in the Hayhire Gateway Court or Overlay District for a commercial building that is less than 1,000 square feet of gross floor area. As you see on the zoning map on your screen and in your packet, property is on top of a commercial. It is about 0.64 acres, and it is one of the front out parcels of the grocery store shopping center currently occupied by Food Line. Um, you saw the zoning map. This is the character area, which shows community activity center. And that's associated with the exit 29 interchange. Aerial imagery, you see the grocery store as the anchor, the uh, little house restaurant. Um, on the left edge of the screen, what you don't see is the new Wendy's, which is now open, which was built after this aerial, and then the Hayhauer Vet Clinic across the street. Um, subject property is a partially cleared vacant lot. Um, this is the front out parcel. This is the view from the easterly entrance drive into the shopping center. As you round the corner, um, it's wrapped by the drive on two sides and then the main parking lot on the west side. Another view of the lot, adjacent properties include the grocery store as the anchor, the vet clinic across the road, and these are the views up and down Georgia 122. This is looking west toward I-75, and then eastward back into town. Um, as we talked about in the work session and as described in the packet, this is the first time we have had a special exception request for a small building in the overlay district. Um, the intent of that is to um, allow a public hearing process to manage the density, the number of curb cuts, and the development pattern along the corridor to have it as a more organized format and not lots of little commercial out parcels. Um, this property is a little bit different because it is an out parcel that is small, but it is part of a much larger organized land commercial shopping center. Um, so from that perspective, it certainly meets the intent. Um, of having small buildings as part of a greater whole. Some of the details of that shopping center in your packet, ironically, back in 2009, the grocery store went through the same public hearing process for being a little bit too big. So from that perspective, perhaps this is balancing it out. Um, but what was really being approved back in 2009 was the shopping center, and this is part of that original plan. Um, so with all of that, um, staff has found the request consistent with the uh, special exception review criteria, which are outlined in your packet. And we're recommending approval subject to two conditions. First one, special exception shall be granted for a food and beverage establishment with drive through facilities, which is less than 1,000 square feet of gross floor area. Approval shall expire after one year from the date of approval if no building permits <coughs> for the property of an issue by that date. Additional things in your packet include their proposed site plan, this is for a Red Owl coffee shop drive through um, Part of what is taking up a lot of the out parcel is that it's a double drive through to accommodate what we think is going to be a fair amount of automobile traffic. Um, also in your packet is the core plan and build, building elevation drawings that they submitted as part of their plan review request. Um, I think the applicant is here. Um, I'll be glad to answer any questions that you may have. Commissioners, are there any questions? <clears throat> All right, we'll turn it over to the public hearing. Is there anyone here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of this request? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chuck Smith, and uh, I'm just here to say Merry Christmas to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you bring your present? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I'm here representing my, my owner, Josh and Emily uh, Hagen. They purchased this property back in this summer, back in July. This is their first, you know, undertaking. This is a franchise store. Uh, it will be a Red Isle coffee shop. Red Isle has a prototype floor plan. They engage the design team, the architect and engineer, and design their plans, you know, doing it the way things are supposed to be done. And through our thorough plan review process, we miss one little dot there. It's 1,000 square feet. We're a little over 900 square feet. But it accommodates the drive through the equipment, you know, the employees, uh, everything it needs. And as Matt mentioned, the double stack, you know, it's predominantly drive, drive through coffee. Uh, we're here tonight, you know, just answer any questions. Uh, the job is in plan review, and this is the last box to check, so to speak. So, uh, that's really all I have. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just wish you 
made a pencil a little bit wider so it would be a thousand square feet. Right. And we have no issues here. The only thing I'd like to bring to your attention is yes. I don't know how much you ride through Hay Hire, yes. but that Wendy's, let me, let, me just go, let me go and say for the record, this thing right here is going to be off the flipping chart. You hear me? That Wendy's, about three times a day, has got traffic blocked on 122. Yes. Is there any way, in your vast knowledge, to abandon that first driveway and just and let the pick go in and have one bleed in? I thought, it, it's going to be hard. I can go with any. Right. So as a lifelong citizen of Hay Hire, and I live there now, <clears throat> Especially when everybody's going to be wanting coffee is in the morning when those school buses come. The school buses, yeah, but the worst part is in the morning when those school buses are trying to turn left to go south on Interstate 75. That traffic will back up as far as the red light. No joke. Right. So if you've got, and you see it with Zacadoos, when you have the traffic that is going to be down this little bit of drive and then on to 122, it's going to be a nightmare. Well, and we took that consideration that the engineer did because your your Zacadoos they single stack. I built them. Right. I see the issues that, right. that, that happens on Bay Street mm -hmm. perimeter road. They sacrificed some land and got a double double stack. I mean, it's a small point six four acres. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. It's so condensed. Uh, I really don't see how we could do it and, and, and not impede the flow. Right. Uh, I'm sure as you do, you don't have to direct traffic, but what if you were to move that to the inside, like just flip it over, so you would be coming in from, and I don't know how that would work, because it's different property owners, but if you, the driveway, flip it over to the other that's side. The, 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 Mirror it. I'm sorry, that's the driveway. Every, everything there on the west side of it, we, we don't know. They're probably going to be unhappy if cars, cars park there. So mm -hmm. Plus, there, that site has a big elevation change. Right. So we have an impact by a lot of sites. Yeah. There's about a three and a half foot elevation grade right. there. That's my only concern because I just know, I mean, they are waiting on bated breath for this place to open. It's going to be off the top. <laughs> it's going to be. We're going to have no problems with the two, the, the two, uh, the two items there because my owner, he, he wants to build now. He wishes he was selling Oh, yeah. Coffee. I wish he was built down too, too. Yeah. There are four or five driveways that you can exit this space from. There's two. Well, there's one here that's shown. There's one up to the south. Yeah, there's one in front of Wendy's. There's one I forgot about the one behind Food Line. Line. That's right. <laughs> so there's at least four. I had forgotten about that one. Yeah. Yeah. But honestly, your locals will go bad. Now, yeah. Again, it's probably going to be impacted by the interstate traffic. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay. Considering the size and what we've crammed in there, that's, that's a good job. No, you guys did a good job getting it in there. I'm telling you. We got to get it built now. You want to take Valentine's Day? Sir, take Valentine's Day? Two weeks. Yeah, Christmas would be really good. If we start back in summer, that was that was the objective, honestly. It was good. I'm excited. Yeah, it looks I'm great. I mean, they have plans to do others in there, and you know, it's just one of the little things that just got over overlooked through the design. And right. We appreciate the plan of view. Appreciate this process. Matt has been really good to work for and went through the work session for AIR. And, you know, my owners, he's here tonight, Josh, and, you know, getting to see the process and all, so to be a little more educated on the next one as well. It, it, it's going to be great. It and, is. And that's the only thing. I hope you made the pencil. We'll see when they come. But that, that engine, I'm just, right. it's going to be horrible. Thank you, Chuck. No, no, no. The gateway over the corridor of the lake is going to require special exceptions for the regular. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Well, I built a Hay Hire Vet Clinic there, and I can remember we had to come back. We had some oh, yeah. setback issues and signs. I messed with Dr. Ruff. We're going to have to move his building back there, sign down. So, but there again, everybody worked with us well on that one. All right, we appreciate it. Thank you, Chuck. All right, is there anyone else here tonight who would like to speak on behalf? 
All right. <clears throat> Is there anyone tonight who wishes to speak against this request, if you'll come forward? Anyone wishing to speak against? All right. I'll turn it back over to the commissioners for any discussion or questions. All right. There being none, I'll ask for a motion. Madam Chair. Yes. Commissioner Miller. Regarding file number HA 2022-01, they're requesting a special exception for a comprehensive plan. And I make a motion that we recommend the approval to the Ohio City Council with both of the conditions. All right. We have a motion to approve with conditions. No. I make a motion to second that motion. All right. And we have a motion by Commissioner Bailey to second that. Is there any discussion on the motion? <clears throat> all right. All those in favor of the motion to approve, please raise your right hand. All those against, and the motion carries. Welcome to Hay Hire. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Moving on to agenda item number seven. Thank you, Madam Chairman. This 